Hi Pisces, welcome to your May Love Connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Pisces, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with someone at this time. So this does have to be somebody you actually know. You don't necessarily have to be together. So whatever your connection is, if you're separated, if you're just dating, getting to know, uh, have a crush, you think they like you, uh, whatever the connection is here. Uh, between you and another person. Hopefully uh, we'll get your, the energy um, and see what's going on for you. So I hope everyone's doing well and staying uh, safe and healthy at this time. So this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female. It could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates for you. Um, if it's not your story, if it's not fitting, then don't try to make it fit. Then it's not your story this time. And um, don't leave me negative comments if it's not your story because I will delete them. So please keep that in mind. You can also check other signs in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, to see if those resonate for you. Link below to get your uh, free chart, if you're not sure. And also your playlists are listed below, Love in General. If you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I do consider them all timeless, so feel free to do that. And also there's a lot of other information down there for you, uh, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, um, if you like to tip, donate, send a gift, or just mail, or whatever here, all that info is below. So check it out if you like to. All right, Pisces. So with this deck here, it's a Zodiac deck. So we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how this plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Doesn't mean the rest of the reading is not for you. So let's see here for Pisces. And also, Pisces, if you're new, even you like my style, how I read, you can check out my channel. And you can subscribe if you like to. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. So and if you do, thank you. All right. So for Pisces, love at this time spirit, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. All right. Let's see what we have. We have Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Uh, if not, totally fine. But Capricorn does represent um, the devil in the tarot, major arcana of the devil, which can be about addictions, obsessions, a very strong, passionate connection with somebody. Um, it can also be about self-doubt, fear, anxiety, stress, negative thinking kind of energy, uh, depression. So we'll see how that uh, plays into your reading. But Capricorn here is 10. And 10s are about completions of some kind. But then that 10 goes to a 1, which after completion, there's always a new beginning. And in Pisces, you're 12. So you're like backtracking 12 to 12 to 10. But 12 does equal 3, which is about teamwork, collaboration, uh, people, things coming together in some way. Uniting, reuniting kind of energy also. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So... Pisces. So this is a new deck for me. This is the Journey of Love. I felt it was time for a new love deck. So I bought this and I'm using it for the first time for these love readings for May. So with this deck here, first thing I'm going to do for you Pisces, if you're new, I will pull one card for the opening energy message about your connection with whoever you're thinking about at this time for this love reading. Then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're feeling about the connection and each other. Pisces, I'll put you here your person here, clarify that with the tarot, look at your actual situation, whatever it may be, and then advice, possible outcome. We'll get some closing messages with this deck. I always go over the bottom of the decks also. So let's see what we have here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. This is a general collective reading. It's not a private reading. So let's see what we have for Pisces. What is the opening love connection energy or message between Pisces and their person? Who are they thinking about at this time? Just reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. We have one card for the opening energy or message. I'm feeling that one for Pisces. The mother prays, and we do have 15 there, which is six, which is about healing and balance. So you could be a mother, or if you're male watching this, perhaps you know this could be a mother of you know your children or your child or something like that. Or someone who has a very motherly energy. Somebody here, because six is about healing and balance. So somebody here could be praying for healing and balance over toxic energy between two people. It could just be for closure. It could be for peace, harmony, and balance. It could be for um, 
like a peaceful resolution or something like that. So let's see how that plays in. Somebody's praying here for something. Somebody here definitely, and you don't necessarily have to be a mother, um, or maybe your mother is praying about the connection, praying that you know toxicity will be overcome. So however that resonates for you. So let's see here. Let's see here for you, Pisces. Let's get one for Pisces and the and then one for their person, how they're feeling about each other and the connection at this time. For this reading, whoever Pisces is thinking about for this love reading at this time. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, male or female. Let's you, Pisces. Let's get one for your person, whoever Pisces is thinking about. How is their person thinking about Pisces in this connection? So what do we have for you, Pisces? We have devotion to the small, 32, which is 5, which is about challenge, change. So this is about the small things, the small things in life, the small things, maybe, you know, details in the small things, maybe the details and the small things in this connection were kind of overlooked here. And there needs to be uh, change. You know, the challenge is to change um, the details about the small things, nurturing the small things, whatever that means. Uh, to small, the small also could be a child. You know, being devoted to a child here, praying. Someone could be praying here for someone to return and to be, de be devoted again to make that change a challenge to be devoted to someone here who may have had their child because we have devotion to the small and we have mother energy there and a child is small. So it could be that. If not, um, you know, just the small things between you two, you know. All right, so let's see. Let's see how your person's feeling. She is the moon. So we have 21, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, coming together, working together, or reuniting, or something like that. So she is the moon. So the moon energy is very intu intuitive. It's about deep feelings, emotions. It also can be about secrets, illusions, not seeing the path clearly, intuitive energy can be about also cycles. I feel like your person here, I mean, the moon is the feminine energy. So I definitely feel like Pisces here, I mean, could be a feminine energy with a child. And now this person knows that you are their feminine. Um, Cause it definitely is that feminine energy. But they could be a little, you know, confused. Uh, they can't see clearly yet about this, about coming together, reuniting the 21, which is three. Um, feeling a little disillusioned. I feel like you're praying for them to return, to get over if there was any toxic energy or if they have doubt, fear. Maybe, you know, if there's now a child or someone just finding out they're having a child, maybe that really scared them. They're not ready to be a parent. They feel like you're already in that energy. I mean, this may not be for everybody. So please keep that in mind. If it's not your reading, then, you know, maybe next time or again, check the uh, playlist below for past readings. But they see you as somebody here who's already devoted to this, who is ready for this, that's ready for this change. But three, I mean, they want to work on this. They want to come together. They want to reunite. But they're also feeling scared. Um, also, they do have deep feelings, I feel, though. But I think you're praying for them to get over their fear, their doubts, their worrying, their anxiety um, kind of energy. Maybe they're not speaking to you right now because that moon energy can be secretive. So maybe they're kind of keeping their hidden, they could be keeping their feelings hidden from you also about, you know, becoming a parent if that resonates with you. So we'll see where the tarot goes. I mean, this could go in a whole other direction, but that's kind of like the opening messages. So that may just be a message for a selected few. And we'll see what we get with the tarot. So please keep that in mind. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Cosmic Butterfly. And I just got this for Gemini. So we have 36 there, which is 9. 9 is almost at the end of a completion, a cycle. And then you would get 10, which is the completion. And 1 is a new beginning. So this is about spiritual transformation. Here with Cosmic Butterfly. So... And I'm just getting here, like, you know, the butterfly... Yeah, contemplation. So I was meant to see that. 
So somebody's contemplating over this 69, 15, which is six, which is about healing and balance. So somebody is contemplating here about this uh, situation and they're feeling imbalanced, unsure, insecure, and that could be that toxic devil energy about this, really thinking hard. But I'm also getting like the cosmic butterfly, you know, <laughs> it, and you know, the uh, caterpillar goes in the cocoon and then transforms and emerges as something totally new, a butterfly. So it's like birth of something new. So again, I'm getting like that birthing of something, you know, like that, um, somebody finding out maybe uh, they are with child probably here could also be praying that this person ex accepts this and is willing to, um, could be contemplating also telling this person and praying that everything works out with them also. So we'll see where this is going, Pisces, Pisces. It could be something too, also, if there's been a toxic cycle between you and your person that for some reason this, if there is like a small child involved or a birth or a pregnancy or something like that may end some sort of toxic energy between the two of you may actually bring you closer. My stomach's growling. I hope you cannot hear that. <laughs> may actually um, bring you closer and end a toxic cycle here for some reason. I don't know. We'll see both being devoted to this small child that may be coming into the world. So we'll see here. We'll see what is going on with you, Pisces. What is going on with Pisces? Can we clarify this energy for Pisces love at this time, them and their person? What's going on here, Pisces? Someone rising in Venus, male or female. And I know I say male or female, but... Um, Wow, if you are a male watching this, this could be, you know, if you're cross-watching, could be your person. Um, so we do have six of air. And maybe, you know, your person, if you are the male watching and your person is a Pisces and maybe they've been kind of secretive towards you, um, kind of energy also, and you're wondering, you know, what the heck's going on? And you're thinking hard, like, why have they distanced themselves from me? What What's changed? Or why have they been being secretive um, and a little distant? could be because of this situation. So please keep that in mind. So Pisces for you, we do have the six of air energy here. So this is about, again, healing, balancing energy. The six of air is about leaving things behind and going in, in a much better direction to healing, balance, clarity, um, peace and harmony, going in a you know in much better direction. So you want things to sail smoothly with this person. Um, and you see the birds there for communication. So I think you're praying here, if I communicate this news to them, that things will just sail smoothly with them. So we'll see here. So let's get one more for Pisces. One more for Pisces. Transformation here. So we have 13. Which I do believe this is the... This is the death card. Yeah, it has to be. So... The Scorpio energy. Let's, let me just double check on that. But I do believe that is the death card. Whoops. Let's see. It doesn't really say you, but I think that's death. So that's Scorpio. So this is about things, old cycles, patterns ending, um, things that aren't serving, things that were not working. You know, you could be fearing also that if you communicate this news to them, this may be the ending of this. But this, again, is about transformation. We've got the cosmic butterfly here, which is transformation. So, again, I had that feeling that if there's been a toxic cycle between the two of you, for some reason, if this has to do with a child in some way, shape, or form, and it may not be a physical child. It could be something else that is something new, like the birth of something new. It could be a new business adventure. It could be, you know, getting something new, buying something new, a major life change, something new. Whatever it is here, I feel like this will transform the connection into a much better energy, like coming together because of this and leaving toxic, toxic patterns, behaviors of the past. That's kind of what I'm getting. So however that resonates for you, whatever, however that makes sense for you. So let's see here. Um why your person has she is the moon for you pisces 
why is she is the moon here for Pisces person? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Can we clarify? Okay, let me take these two. So we have, wow, so we have the star and we have the ace of air. So the star here is about, sorry about the glare, massive healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true, with divinely guided energy, Aquarius energy here. If I say they're a sign, that's fine. If I don't, that's totally fine. It's all just energy. But we do have the ace of air here, which is truth, clarity, uh, epiphany, aha moments, successful new beginning, victory, um, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away energy, not serving, that kind of energy. Standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is. Somebody here has had massive awakening, healing, divinely guided energy, being hopeful, because we do have the moon in the background there, and we have she is the moon. So somebody in, will be delivering some sort of truthful, honest communication here. Somebody's had a big, big epiphany, awakening, aha moment of some kind, and now realizing this is divinely guided. So whatever happened here, if it is you know, a pregnancy or whatever here that is new coming in that will bring the two of you together, it's divinely guided, and they know this. And so coming in with truth, clarity, open, honest communication. Here they've had an epiphany, aha moment about this. Whatever it is here. So this is a victorious new beginning with the ace of air. Truthful communication. And I feel, I feel like you maybe have been praying for this Pisces. All right. Or a mother figure or somebody who was like a mother figure, mentor or something like that. All right, so let's see what the actual situation, fortune's wheel, wow, yeah, so Sagittarius, so definitely you're wanting this 10, again, about cycles and completions. You're wanting this to go, and we got the six of air about smooth sailing, and now this is about divine timing, destiny, things going in a better direction, um, things going in the right direction. So you definitely want this to go smoothly, you want this to go in the right direction ending of whatever was toxic between the two of you. I feel like you're hoping this will bond the two of you closer together. All right, so. All right, so what else here for Pisces? Patience. Wow, we have two cards here of Sagittarius. That's just crazy. 10 and 14, so we got temperance here. Two Sagittarius cards. It's about having patience about healing, um, balance. This is about this patient uh, angel brings the soulmates back together. So having healing, patience, uh, reuniting, balancing energy. So you're praying for that. You're wanting that between the two of you. You want this uh, connection to transform. Somebody's thinking hard about this. Queen of Earth energy here. So right in the middle here. So this is um, Capricorn, but doesn't have to be. And so is it that Capricorn right there. So, wow. So this is connecting the two of you, queen of earth, king or queen. This is about um, stability, growth, expansion, being practical, smart, and wise. Um, slow and steady wins the race. And being patient with that energy. Wow, okay. So you both want a slow, steady um, energy, growth, expansion, stability, being practical and wise and smart, analyzing, assessing energy. So I feel like you're both in that energy, assessing the situation. All right, grounding energy. So what else here? So we have temptation, and there's a the devil energy with uh, Capricorn. So that's on their side. So again, they could have had addictions, obsessions, fear, stress, worry, anxiety about this. If it has to do with the birth of something new or a child or, you know, just something new coming into this connection that is like a big change. You know, it could be moving. It could be a new home. It could be um, bringing something new into the connection. You know, maybe even adopting for some of you or... Um, Something like that. Something new, something big, something that's a big change coming in. And somebody has stress, fear, or anxiety about this. And I feel like it's on their side. But they're healing over this energy. Also, I feel like a cycle 
some sort of toxic cycle will close out here because you have 15, which is six again about the healing and balance. We have 14 on the temperance, which is five, which is about change and challenge. And with the uh, death here, we have 13, which is four, which is a stable energy. So, all right. So what else here for Pisces? Four of fire, four of wands energy. So this definitely could be, you know, something about your home situation. Maybe you're planning like a big move or purchase of a big home or expanding your family. I don't know, something here. It's a stability in the home life, commitment, marriage, um, celebrating, ceremonies kind of energy. So some of you definitely could be married here or maybe this is about getting married. You know, maybe somebody is really all up in there and it feels about settling down now and getting married and starting a family. And they're, you know, really, really stressed and worried about that. Can I live up to the, you know, expectations of being, you know, this spouse, this dedicated queen of earth, king or queen pentacle is very dedicated kind of energy. They're trustworthy, they're stable, they're grounded, they're secure, they're safe, they're long term. So it could be about a long term uh, connection. It could be about actually getting married and starting a family. Somebody, I feel, is very nervous and stressed about this. And you're over here, you know, knowing, waiting for this to go in the right direction, waiting for this to happen, this change, being patient kind of energy, hoping everything will go smoothly. And I think you kind of know they're nervous. Maybe they got cold feet. <laughs> I don't know here. You know, so different energies here, different, you know, so whatever situation resonates for you. Please take that how it resonates for you. But somebody over some sort of big commitment, change, challenge, something new coming in, whether it's the birth of something new or buying, you know, a big, big purchase like a home or maybe even moving because, you know, fortunes can be about moving too. And the six of swords can be about moving. So this could be moving home and somebody's really, you know, stressed about that. So however it resonates for you. Someone's praying here that there'll be smooth sailing, things will go smoothly, that whatever cycle you're in will close out and better days will come. Really thinking heavily about this transformation. All right, so what do we have for Pisces in this advice? A lot of mixed messages, Pisces, so I could just be connecting to a lot of different energies here. So we have the Eight of Air energy here. So again, the Eight of Swords. So again, there's that feeling trapped and bound mentally physically emotionally so see someone's in that energy it could be you or your person or you're both in that energy feeling trapped bound either in a situation where you are or uh, in your head and you know how well that resonates for you all right so what else here for pisces seven of earth so again this is about investing assessing analyzing patiently waiting seven of earth energy so again some kind of situation here is being assessed, evaluated, analyzed, investments for the future. But there's an energy of patiently waiting. Could be because of the you know state of the world right now. Yeah, eight of water energy. So this is about walking away. And we have the sail boat in the background there. So something here, this is about movement, travel, journey. Um, could be an energy of walking away, but moving to something more fulfilling. So again, it could be that energy of two eights here. Travel, action, communication. I'm getting heavy travel here. So maybe because there's a restriction, that restriction right now and there's no traveling, it's causing delays in whatever change you, you're wanting to make right now. Um, maybe, you know, it's traveling over water, overseas kind of energy, moving overseas, and it's not happening right now because of the whole situation of the world. All right, so what else here for... So this is your advice. So let's get one more. Three of air. So this is more air energy. So this is heartbreak, heartache. Somebody's really heartbroken here because feeling trapped and bound because there's no forward movement, like just kind of stuck because, you know, earth, the world energy kind of stuck in a situation. And things can't move forward, progress, or move, or move on, or whatever you're doing here. Um, so this is our advice. So, I mean, the seven earth, I think it's here to stay stable, grounded, 
um, continue to nurture yourself, your connection, your home life, whatever it is for you. Continue to nurture, ground it, stabilize it. You know, keep on, I don't, I don't know, thinking, contemplating, assessing, analyzing your whole situation. Because there will be forward movement here out of a blocked situation, whatever that is for you, even though you're feeling hot broken over this. So there will be, it could not, may not be till summertime with the eight of water here, like the end of summer, maybe even August. So we have two eights here. So, and this is like the praying energy too, Mother Praise. So somebody could be praying, you know, when can we make this forward movement, this change? Maybe even some of you had to delay a wedding or something like that because of the state of the world. So, all right. So let's get possible outcome for you here, Pisces. Pisces, I feel like you're in union with this person, but whatever major change that you, both of you are making, it's on a standstill pause because of the state of the world. For some of you, it could be about a pregnancy and you're afraid to tell your person because they are, um, you feel like they may not be ready to be a parent, but you're hoping for a good outcome. All right, so different energies here. So let's see what possible outcome can be for you. Whoa, that went flying on the floor. So we do have, we do have the King of Wands in reverse here, King of Fire, which could be Sagittarius energy. So, you know, this is somebody who's a go-getter, is very fiery, passionate, creative. Uh, they go after what they want, a lot of drive and ambition. So somebody here is not feeling <laughs> passionate, they're lacking, uh, Enthusiasm. So somebody could be lacking enthusiasm here. Uh, not feeling fiery and passionate. So let's see. Let's get a few more here. So we do have the high priestess. So this is being very intuitive. Listening to you got your intuition, higher knowing, but this is also secret ener secretive energy or no communication. So what else here? What else here? For Pisces. The four of earth. So this is again is about stability, foundation. And it's also the energy of holding back. We got two holding on but holding back. So it's like you want to hold on to this person or vice versa, but yet not either not giving or taking, kind of holding on, holding back, kind of energy, not giving or taking, someone being secretive or, or not talking or expressing or not, you know. So so somebody here, I feel even though hoping for this big change in outcome or whatever it is for you, somebody still is not feeling, you know, passionate about a situation. So it's going to, someone's going to continue to hold something back here because they either feel like their person is still not ready, the king of wands in reverse. I mean, the king of wands is ready and they go after what they want. So somebody here, whether it's you or them, may feel like somebody is still not ready so I still see an energy here of continuing to hold back here. Oh, so whatever that is, again, the earth energy here. So the earth energy is the fall energy. Fire is spring, which we're in spring now. High Priestess is Cancer Pisces, uh, which is summertime. So again, getting the energy here of summertime again. So there may not be any forward movement, communication, or something being revealed till the summertime, which in the fall could bring, you know, the four of earth is about stability, but, you know, maybe things will stabilize in the fall energy after something's revealed in the summertime. But I feel like right now, the springtime, somebody is still going to continue to hold back because somebody they feel is not ready for this change or this challenge or this forward movement or a revelation, however that means for you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, the nine of air. So this is stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So somebody here is stressed out uh, about this, maybe not sleeping at night. Eight of earth, eight of pentacle energy. So this is an energy of, you know, working hard, you know, learning something new, uh, mastering a craft. So someone could just be concentrating on work if you're still working um, this, but uh, working on the connection 
are working on themselves. Nine of water. So this is wishes and dreams coming true. Faith, hope, optimism, happiness, and joy in every single way. But we got the seven of wands energy here. So even though someone's desiring this wish, this dream come true, again, with the praying here, wishing for this dream to come true, wishes fulfilled, they know somebody is still on guard or defensive here about a situation. And are afraid that this revelation, this change, or whatever it is here may bring a tower moment, which is Aries energy, which may bring, you know, uh, something combative, it could bring um, an explosion or something energy here, which they're fearing if they deliver this message of truth and clarity, the messenger of ear is the uh, page of ear or it's the night. No, this is the night. So, you know, somebody rushes in. I feel like somebody feels like this is the night of ear, which could be Aquarius. So I feel like somebody is worrying if they rush in with the truth, the clarity, there could be an explosive moment here. But here is a stable new beginning based on a firm foundation, growth, expansion for the long term, growth, prosperity. So there is the energy here for this in the future, but I don't think it's going to be until like the fall time because there's still confusion and illusion, illusions here with things manifesting here for a new beginning. Again, magician energy, Gemini Virgo, Virgo again, uh, fall energy. So I feel like things won't materialize or messages won't be delivered or um, things changing, whatever here, um, until maybe the fall Maybe messages or things will start to change in the summertime. So, I mean, a lot of messages here for you, Pisces. So, <laughs> whatever message resonates for you. But I definitely don't get an energy of anything happening until summertime and then things stabilizing in the fall. So, whether it's a marriage, whether it's a, a pregnancy or a revelation of a pre pregnancy. Although, if you're pregnant now... And you wait till fall. I think we're going to know by fall so, or summertime. Well, summertime, maybe not. So whatever, whatever, whatever your message is, Pisces, however it resonates for you. All right. I feel like you're, this is in some, I feel like it's someone you're in contact with or in union with or in a relationship with. Definitely here, but okay. So what do we have for the closing messages for Pisces, for Pisces? I don't even know what the heck I'm going to title this. Focus 37, which is 10, which is about completions and new beginnings, because 10 equals 1. So refocusing here, focusing on the heart of the matter. So there will be a focus on the heart of the matter here. Again, heart, you know, was about love, emotions, feelings, which is cup energy just summer energy. So I think there will really be a focus on this completion and new beginning in the summertime. Again, some people could just be focusing on themselves right now. Okay, so what else for Pisces? For Pisces, please. Thank you so much. For Pisces. Remembrance. So we have 11. So 11 to me is half the twin flame number, but then 11 is 2. Uh, partnerships, unity. So somebody here remembering either past life connections or remembering the good times, you know, the old times, uh, really remembering everything of the past, you know. All right, so remembering how things used to be. And soul song, 41.5, which is change, challenge, again. So there could be, you know, a song. <laughs> it could also be a wedding song soulmates you know singing the same song finally in the summertime you see you know the two souls finally coming to alignment peace and harmony we got the bird up there with the news traveling so how about that resonates for you so all right so what's on the bottom of the deck we have manifestation here which is 25 which is seven which is a divinely guided number so manifesting this new beginning, manifesting this change um, or something, whatever's going on here for you, Pisces, change, challenge, um, traveling, whatever here, manifesting this, making it happen. It's divine, divinely uh, orchestrated, connected, divinely guided. But I still feel like here, you get the sun energy, like 
shining on the world. You know, after world healing, things will start to manifest here. I'm definitely feeling seven, uh, July. So I'm getting summer energy here, heavy summer energy. All right. Wow. That's a long reading. Okay, Pisces. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.